Hey everyone, it's Triple Mango Threat, and today we are going over the best card draw in EDH or Commander. But before we get too far, don't forget to pick up your merch, and if you want any of these cards, click the link below to purchase them. It really helps out the channel. Roll the intro. Now these cards are in no particular order and it is all my opinion, but be sure to leave a comment if I missed one of your favorite card draw spells. Starting off we have Cloud Blazer for 3, a white and a blue. It's a 2-2 human scout. It has flying. When Cloud Blazer enters the battlefield, you gain 2 life and draw 2 cards. Verduran Enchantress for 1 and 2 green. It's a 0-2 human druid. When you play an enchantment spell, you may draw a card. Coastal Piracy for 2 and 2 blue. When a creature you control deals combat damage to an opponent, you may draw a card. Rishkar's Expertise for 4 and 2 green, it's a sorcery. Draw cards equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. You may cast a card with converted mana cost 5 or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. Bident of Thassa for 2 and 2 blue, it's a legendary enchantment artifact. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. Pay 1 of blue and tap it. Creatures your opponents control attack this turn if able. Notion Thief for 2, a blue and a black. It's a 3-1 human rogue. It has flash. If an opponent would draw a card except the first one he or she draws in each of his or her draw steps, instead that player skips that draw and you draw a card. You can be very sneaky with Notion Thief. For example, your opponent plays some awesome draw spell that gets them 10 cards and they paid a huge amount of mana. Well, in response, we cast Notion Thief, and we will pay 4 mana and get a creature, and get 10 cards. Sire of Stagnation for 4, a blue and a black, it's a 5-7 Eldrazi. It has Devoid, which means this card has no color. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under an opponent's control, that player exiles the top 2 cards of his or her library, and you draw 2 cards. Pull from Tomorrow is X and 2 blue, it's an instant. Draw X cards, then discard a card. Saram, Senior Edificer, for 1 and a white, it's a 2-2 Dwarf Advisor. Whenever you cast an Aura, Equipment, or Vehicle spell, draw a card. Now, Sire of Stagnation is a lot of mana, but it does outstanding work. Does your opponent want to play a ramp spell and then exile 2 cards from their library and let their opponent draw 2? Absolutely not. Pull from Tomorrow is an amazing card draw spell with instant speed and you only discard one card out of however much mana you're wanting to pay. And Saram is an amazing commander that has no problem with card draw and that is very helpful in white. Well of Ideas for 5 and a blue, it's an enchantment. When Well of Ideas enters the battlefield, draw 2 cards. At the beginning of each other player's draw step, that player draws an additional card. At the beginning of your draw step, draw two additional cards. Afara, God of the Polis, for two, a white and a blue. It's a 6-5 legendary enchantment creature, and it's a god. It has indestructible. As long as your devotion to white and blue is less than seven, Afara isn't a creature. At the beginning of each upkeep, if you had another creature enter the battlefield under your control last turn, draw a card. Smothering Abomination, for two and two black, it's a 4-3 Eldrazi. It has Devoid, which that means this card has no color, and it has Flying. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature. Whenever you sacrifice a creature, draw a card. Rites of Flourishing for 2 and a green, it's an enchantment. At the beginning of each player's draw step, that player draws an additional card. Each player may play an additional land on each of his or her turns. Reforge the soul for 3 and 2 red, it's a sorcery. Each player discards his or her hand, then draws 7 cards. It also has miracle for 1 and a red. Biomantic mastery for 4 colorless and 3 hybrid of blue and green, sorcery. Draw a card for each creature target player controls, then draw a card for each creature another target player controls. Rites of Flourishing does help our opponents as well, but hopefully we will get more benefit out of the enchantment than our opponents would. If we are able to pay the miracle cost for Reforge the Soul, it is better than Wheel of Fortune. And Biomantic Mastery costs a lot of mana, but targeting two players, which one could be ourselves if we really wanted to, is super powerful and we benefit from an opponent's large board state. Kindred Discovery for 3 and 2 blue, it's an enchantment. 
As Kindred Discovery enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Whenever a creature you control of the chosen type enters the battlefield or attacks, draw a card. Alms Collector for 3 and a white, it's a 3-4 Cat Cleric with Flash. If an opponent would draw two or more cards, instead you and that player each draw a card. Timna the Weaver for a colorless, a white, and a black. It's a 2-2 human cleric with lifelink. At the beginning of your post-combat main phase, you may pay X life, where X is the number of opponents that were dealt combat damage this turn. If you do, draw X cards. Kindred Discovery is a great enchantment for a tribal deck that has blue in it. Alms Collector is another great card because white struggles with card draw, and this can really help out if your opponents just draw cards like crazy. Timna the Weaver promotes combat and you get cards for normally doing what you would do in white and black. Skull Clamp for one colorless, it's an artifact equipment. Equipped creature gets plus one, minus one. Whenever equipped creature dies, draw two cards and the equip cost is one mana. Zendikar Resurgent for five and two green, it's an enchantment. Whenever you tap a land for mana, add one mana to your mana pool of any type that land produced. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. Abundance for two and two green, it's an enchantment. If you would draw a card, you may instead choose land or non-land. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a card of the chosen kind. Put that card into your hand and put all other cards revealed this way on the bottom of your library in any order. When I first started playing Commander, I did not understand why Skull Clamp was so good. Why would I kill my creatures? Well, card draw in Magic is very important, and if you can draw two cards for one colorless mana, it's really good. Zendikar Resurgent promotes you playing your creatures, and it's in green. That makes total sense. Abundance is a great card, especially when you need a land, or you're getting flooded with lands. This can really help you out. Mole Drifter for four and a blue. It's a 2-2 elemental, and it has flying. When Mole Drifter enters the battlefield, draw two cards, and it has evoke for two and a blue. You may cast this spell for its evoke cost. If you do, it's sacrificed when it enters the battlefield. Azami Lady of Scrolls for 2 and 3 blue. It's a 0-2 human wizard. Tap an untapped wizard you control. Draw a card. Well of Lost Dreams for 4 colorless. It's an artifact. Whenever you gain life, you may pay X, where X is less than or equal to the amount of life you gained. If you do, draw X cards. A zombie Lady of Scrolls is a great commander for Wizard Tribal. The neat thing about her is the word tap is different from the tap symbol. When it comes to the word tap, it does not care if the creature has summoning sickness, but the tap symbol does care if the creature has summoning sickness if we want to use the ability. Well of Lost Dreams is another great card that helps decks that have a lot of life gain, and you can just pay mana to draw cards. And again, even if you are paying the exact mana for the cards you will draw, this is a great trade-off. Shamanic Revelation for three and two green, it's a sorcery. Draw a card for each creature you control, and it has Ferocious. You gain four life for each creature you control with power four or greater. Garrick Primal Hunter for two and three green, it's a legendary planeswalker. His plus one is create a 3-3 three, three green beast creature token. His minus three is draw cards equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. And his minus six is create a 6-6 six, six green worm creature token for each land you control. Elemental bond for two and a green, it's an enchantment. When a creature with power three or greater enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. Shamanic Revelation is an amazing card when you have a huge board state. An Elemental Bond again promotes you to play your creatures, and if they happen to be power 3 or greater, you get to draw cards. Damia Sage of Stone for 4, a black, a green, and a blue is a 4-4 Gorgon Wizard. She has Death Touch. Skip your draw step. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have fewer than 7 cards in your hand, draw cards equal to the difference. Secrets of the Dead for two and a blue is an enchantment. Whenever you cast a creature spell from your graveyard, draw a card. River Kelpie for three and two blue, it's a three three beast. Whenever River Kelpie or another permanent enters the battlefield from a graveyard, draw a card. Whenever a player casts a spell from a graveyard, draw a card. 
Damia Sage of Stone is a great commander when you just want to cast all the spells in your hand and every upkeep you have you get to refill back up to 7 cards. Secrets of the Dead and River Kelpie are very similar when it comes to you casting spells from your graveyard, but River Kelpie also gets you to draw cards if your opponents happen to cast spells from their graveyard. Drog Skull Reaver for 5, a white and a blue is a 3-5 spirit with flying, double strike, and lifelink. Whenever you gain life, draw a card. Soul of the Harvest for 4 and 2 green, it's a 6-6 six, six elemental with trample. Whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card. Windfall for 2 and a blue, it's a sorcery. Each player discards their hand, then draws cards equal to the greatest number of cards a player discarded this way. Tatiova Benthic Druid for 3, a green and a blue is a 3-3 Merfolk Druid. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life and draw a card. Joyra Weatherlight Captain for 2, a blue and a red, it's a 3-3 Human Artificer. Whenever you cast a Historic Spell, draw a card. And Historic Spells are Artifacts, Legendaries, and Sagas. Jaya Ballard for 2 and 3 red, it's a legendary planeswalker, it's plus one, is add three red mana, spend this mana only to cast instant and sorcery spells. Her other plus one is discard up to three cards, then draw that many cards. Her minus eight, you get an emblem with, you may cast instant and sorcery cards from your graveyard. If a card cast this way would be put into your graveyard, exile it instead. Chulain Teller of Tales for 2, green, white, and blue is a 2-4 human druid with vigilance. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card, then you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Pay 3, tap him, return target creature you control to its owner's hand. Baleful Strix for blue and black, it's a 1-1 bird, artifact, creature, with flying and death touch. When Baleful Strix enters the battlefield, draw a card. Harvester of Souls for 4 and 2 black is a 5-5 five five demon with death touch. Whenever another non-token creature dies, you may draw a card. The cool thing about Harvester of Souls is not only when your creatures die, but it also triggers when your opponent's creatures die, you get to draw a card. Dawn of Hope for a colorless and a white, it's an enchantment. Whenever you gain life, you may pay 2 mana. If you do, draw a card. Midnight Reaper for 2 and a black is a 3-2 zombie knight. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, Midnight Reaper deals 1 damage to you and you draw a card. Beast Whisperer for 2 and 2 green, it's a 2-3 Elf Druid. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. Jin Kataxis Core Augur for 8 and 2 blue, it's a 5-4 Praetor. It has Flash. At the beginning of your end step, draw 7 cards. Each opponent's maximum hand size is reduced by 7. Consecrated Sphinx for 4 and 2 blue, it's a 4-6 Sphinx. It has flying. Whenever an opponent draws a card, you may draw 2 cards. Enter the infinite for 8 and 4 blue, it's a sorcery. Draw cards equal to the number of cards in your library, then put a card from your hand on top of your library. You have no maximum hand size until your next turn. Jenga Taxes is a great way to draw cards, but beware, you still have a max hand size of 7 unless you have another card that says otherwise. Consecrated Sphinx is an amazing card when your opponents draw like crazy, or even when they don't. It's a great card to have on the battlefield. Enter the Infinite makes you take your whole library into your hand and then put a card back onto your library. You have no max hand size. Go crazy, kid. Arcades the Strategist, for one, a green, a white, and a blue, is a 3-5 Elder Dragon. It has Flying and Vigilance. Whenever a creature with Defender enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. Forced Fruition, for four and two blue, it's an enchantment. Whenever an opponent plays a spell, that player draws seven cards. Combustible Gear Hulk, for four and two red, it's a 6-6 six, six Construct with First Strike. When Combustible Gear Hulk enters the battlefield, target opponent may have you draw three cards. If the player doesn't, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard, then Combustible Gear Hulk deals damage to the player equal to the total converted mana cost of those cards. Force Fruition does not let you draw cards, but it has the plus side of milling your opponents out faster. The downside is your opponents get more answers when they cast spells, so be very careful about this enchantment. 
Mystic Remora for one blue, it's an enchantment with the cumulative upkeep of one colorless mana. Whenever an opponent plays a non-creature spell, you may draw a card unless that player pays four mana. Mentor of the Meek for two and a white, it's a 2-2 two -two human soldier. Whenever another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay one mana if you do draw a card. Satyr Enchanter for one a green and a white is a 2-2 two -two Satyr Druid. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, draw a card. Alhammer its archive for five colorless, it's a legendary artifact. If you would gain life, you gain twice that much life instead. If you would draw a card except the first one you draw on each of your draw steps, draw two cards instead. Jataxian Probe for one blue or Phyrexian Mana, which means you can pay two life. Look at target player's hand, draw a card. Sphinx's Revelation for X, white, blue, blue, it's an instant. You gain X life and draw X cards. Thank you guys for watching. We are currently at 56 subscribers and making our way to 100. Again, if you would like to purchase any of the merch, click the link below. And if you would like any of these cards, click the other link below. If you did like this video, leave a thumbs up. And if you think I should have added another card or you just want to say hi, comment below. If you want to see more of this mango content, please consider subscribing. I will see you all in the next one. Uh, peace.